New this week on home video, Denzel Washington, Taylor Kitsch, and Gerard Butler are all fighting for their lives. Oh my gosh. That's Tobin Frost. Denzel Washington is still one of the baddest badasses in the movie world, and he's in top form in Safe House. Washington plays Tobin Frost. He's a rogue CIA killing machine who's been off the grid for a decade. Ryan Reynolds plays the untested young agent who winds up with Frost in his custody, or is it really the other way around? This is a brutal, consistently entertaining thriller filled with exciting chase sequences and lots of scenery chewing by the very talented cast. You live your life by a code. It's your shoreline. It's what guides you home. And trust me, you're always trying to get home. Real life Navy SEALs take center stage in Act of Valor, which sometimes plays like the recruitment film it was originally intended to be. The actual SEALs, who are essentially playing themselves, are brave, honorable, noble warriors, and loyal family men. Of course they're believable in the breathtakingly authentic action sequences, but they're clearly not professional actors. The drama suffers when anyone has to deliver more than a brief line or two, but the special ops missions are pretty amazing. We're still not even halfway through the year, but I've got more than enough titles to fill my worst of 2012 list. Hello, John Carter. This is Avatar meets Cowboys and Aliens meets Star Wars, with the result pretty close to disastrous. You are John Carter of Earth? Yes, ma'am. Playing the title character, Taylor Kitsch manages to keep a straight face while exchanging stilted dialogue with the likes of characters named Tars Tarkas and Dejah Thoris and of course Sola. Who can forget Sola? All the CGI magic and celestial choir music and tragic flashbacks in the world can't obscure the fact that this is all really, really silly and very convoluted. But we close out this week of Men in Action on a high note with Machine Gun Preacher. Gerard Butler is outstanding, playing a hardcore criminal who's reborn as a man of God who still believes a gun is often the only solution. The entire rebel army has put a bounty on your head. I must be doing something right. This is the fictionalized version of the amazing true life tale of Sam Childers. This guy was a hardcore biker criminal in rural Pennsylvania, hooked on drugs and violence until he found God with the help of Michelle Monaghan. He embarks on a crusade to save Sudanese orphans by any means necessary. This is one of the most inspirational movies of recent years. That's all for this week. See you again soon.